The designer I have chosen from MoMA's What Was Good Design, MoMA's Message, 1944-56 to exhibition, was Earl S. Tupper. Tupper was the designer of Tupperware, one of the most recognised names in home furnishings in the world. Tupper was born in Berlin, New Hampshire, on July 28, 1907, and graduated high school in his hometown in 1925 when he was 17 years old. Before his high school education, Tupper worked in his family business from a very young age, selling farm produce from his father's farm and greenhouses. He began selling at farmers markets, but by the time he was 10, realised that he would earn more money if he took the produce around to his neighbours' doors, coming to the conclusion that bringing the product to the customer is more overall enjoyable. Tupper would later use this method of marketing when creating Tupperware parties to help showcase his new and in and innovative designs for short or long-term food storage. In an effort to obtain a steady job, Tupper took a tree surgery course and began his own tree tending and landscaping company, naming it Tupper Tree Doctors. However, during the Great Depression, Tupper's clients cut back and he was forced into bankruptcy in 1936 after six years of the business being successful. After this, he managed to find a job at the DuPont Viscoloid Plastics Division, where he gained formal training in design, research, development and manufacturing that he used to create his own plastics company in 1938. He began producing items for soldiers fighting in World War II, like gas masks and Navy signal lamps, and after the war decided to focus on creating more consumer goods. Although this was still a hard task, as plastics in this time period were still primitive, being generally brittle, smelly, and slimy. Therefore, Tupper created a method for purifying polyethylene slag, a waste product produced in crude oil refinement, which was resilient, clean, and translucent. Tupper named it poly T and used it to create a range of kitchen and homeware products in a rainbow of colors that he named Tupperware. In 1946, the line was released into department and hardware stores, However, sales were modest until the invention of Tupperware home parties. They were an immediate success. In 1958, Tupper sold his company for $16 million, divorced his wife and retired to Costa Rica where he passed away in the year 1983. In the late 1970s, Dieter Rams created 10 principles in order to evaluate what good design is. They are as follows. Good design is innovative. Good design makes a product useful. Good design is aesthetic. Good design makes a product understandable. Good design is unobtrusive. Good design is honest. Good design is long lasting. Good design is thorough, down to the last detail. Good design is environmentally friendly. Good design is as little design as possible. In comparing some of these points to Tupper's designs, there are some that correlate to his works particularly in Tupper's tumblers that are showcased in MoMA's What Was Good Design exhibition. Tupper's designs for the development of Tupperware out of a simple waste product produced through the creation of another resource are innovative, useful, environmentally friendly, and the tumblers use very simplistic and minimalist designs. As a result of his inventive use of the polyethylene slag, Tupper was one of the first people to create a plastic that was durable, unobtrusive, long-lasting and aesthetically pleasing, while still being a functional product for the home that would later prove to be the solution to a worldwide household product of appropriate food storage. The tumblers specifically are extremely easy to use and understand. They are streamlined and simple, but their range of colours also make them aesthetically pleasing to have in the home. Therefore, I believe it is safe to assume that Tupper's designs are good designs, according to Dieter Rams's principles for good design, as Tupperware was and still is to this day a prominent household name as a result of its good design. As for how I would incorporate the information I have learnt throughout this project into my own designs and design practices, I am particularly inspired by Tupper's innovation and resourcefulness with his materials when creating Tupperware. However, parallel to this also solves a common problem among people, therefore communicating a need through his design. Fitting a need of a client is something I really enjoy doing through the use of my design, 
although I focus more on communication design rather than industrial like Tupper. However, drawing on Tupper's innovation, I would like to explore this further in my own design, creating new and inventive ways to communicate a need or a message to a passerby. The aesthetics of the design are not always what is most important, and this is something I will keep in mind when creating and designing for future projects.